Let's get straight into our news review segment. And the BNFT this morning says your investments won't go away. So Ferriata assures depositors. University accommodation crisis. UNESCO backs e Anansi project. Telcos earn over 2 billion Ghana CDs from mobile money charges. And, uh, well, they, the Finder newspaper this morning reports that free SHS placements out by Friday. 10% quota for students from public JHSs. Dr. Awal asks entrepreneurs to celebrate or to create internship opportunities for students. Awe Nomahine denies taking part in flogging incident. I reprimanded UEWVC not marking uh, Winneba Zongo chief says so. University of Ghana Legon gets Ianansi Library funded by West Blue Consulting. The Daily Graphic suspected cops killer lands in BNI cells. Past public government and Kolebu reattaches severed wrist second feet in a year uh at the feather in a cup of kolebu teaching hospital graphic talks made in central regional gga awards the daily guide sir we have got him that's a screaming headline how cop killer was nabbed it comes with a photo of busted eric kojo dia uh, along with the arresting officer superintendent abbas and the two slain policemen Lieutenant uh, Lance Corporal Awa Mohammed and Sergeant Michael Jamesi. Ghana, Japan, deep in ties and chief wants we factory. Wow. Uh, police examine evidence in 024 Chief Smith. And finally, the Ghanaian Times. Don't bribe judicial service staff. Chief Justice advises public and government orders police to arm police on operational duties. First, 1D1 of Fruits Juice Factory completed at a Kumfi and police nab key suspects. That's in the matter of two uh, cops. My guest this morning to do the talking for us is the Honorable Member of Parliament for the Adaklu constituency. They call him the Adaklu Mezaya. The Honorable Kwame Akoja is here. Chief, good morning. Good morning. Chief. Good morning. Everything cool? I, I, couldn't, I couldn't be the Mezaya. <laughs> I'm just the, the Member of Parliament. I know. And the Honorable Alexander Kwame Afenyo Marking is the Member of Parliament for the Futu constituency in Nwereba. Honorable, good morning. How are you doing? I'm fine. The Chief said he didn't reprimand you. reprimanded the, uh, the VIP. Were you reprimanded? <coughs> no, he said the allegation was that I reprimanded him. Okay, him. okay. So, but, but he didn't reprimand you? No, it had nothing to do with me. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's talk about the, the slain cop. The, the key suspect was arrested last um, Saturday when the stand up on a tip off. He was trying to get out of town to get into uh, the Volta region, where I understand. There are two schools of thought one that's celebrating the police for acting, and the other perception of the public that says, look, if it concerns the police, uh, they act swiftly. If it concerns the public, it's difficult. And they say, oh, we are working at it, we are working at it. Between the two, where do you stand? I'll start with you, Kwame, on this one. First of all, uh, I thank you for the opportunity to be part of this new thing on New Day, uh, the Made in Version. Mm. Uh, very grateful. We pray that it flies very high. It will. Uh, to uh, in the frontiers of uh, public broadcasting in this country. Mm. Uh, good morning to you and good morning to my very good friend. And uh, good morning to the cherished viewers from Adaklu. Uh, before I touch on that, you, in the, your introduction, you did talk about... Uh, Free SHS placements out tomorrow. Right. I, I feel very sad today. Why do you, uh, because, why do you uh, feel sad? Government invested uh, a lot of money to build one of the community senior high schools in mm. Adaklu, mm. which is actually practically completed. Right. And yet my school is not available for selection by the, 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 mm. the people from, from Adaklu. And it's, I think it's injustice. I could, and I'm using this platform. Who, who have you spoken with? I've spoken to the Deputy Minister of uh, Education. I've mm. spoken to the, the, the Regional Director. I am just pleading with government. Allow whatever you do between today and tomorrow. Place Adaklu, uh, Community Senior High, mm. uh, make it available to students, especially those in Adaklu, who can just walk from home and go to school and come okay. back so that their parents don't have to worry about okay. boarding fees and other things. So please, please, mm. please. Activate at the senior, a community senior high school and make it available. It's I, a government. I, 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 uh, I've seen that school. Where it has a teacher's bungalow exactly. to the left. It's, it's an it enhanced one. Entrance. So it's got the headmaster's bungalow, teacher's bungalow, a canteen and everything. It's, it's, it's a magnificent investment mm. by the state. Let it be available to the, to, to the community. Okay, great. Yes, uh, on the issue of uh, the COPS uh, uh, issue, I think it's, uh, it's one too many. And it's not because it's about uh, COPS. I know there are a couple of uh, COP murder cases that are still unresolved so it is not exactly the case that when it's about uh cops they they work harder i've always said i'm a friend of the police when they do something wrong we talk about it 
But we're just lucky that in this particular case, they've been able to act in a way that uh, uh, gave them the opportunity to apprehend these uh, suspected murderer. And we should comment. The, the police administration once they've got this one right and mm -hmm. also urge them that the unresolved ones are still waiting for them to to uh, to handle but uh, condolences to the families of uh, the, uh, the the two causes but okay. i mean it's, it's just becoming an issue when the the person or people who are supposed to protect you and i are in the firing line who am i i mean who where, where's the where the 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 the, the view that we are safe mm -hmm. and and uh, we, when we talk about insecurity it is real the police are not safe, I'm not safe. Government, the state is responsible for keeping you and I safe. And we expect government to do more to make us all uh, feel safe. So condolences to... I, I said last Friday that I have not seen any police MTG officer on the street with a side arm before. I've not seen them wear bullet vests or bulletproof vests. I've not seen them with body cam. I've not seen them with uh, panic uh, triggers on them. Nothing. So they just go there and they are white and black with a reflector on. Now, since this thing happened, we're told by the acting IGP that the police um, would have some more proofers have been procured for them. But is that enough to deter people who are emboldened to commit a crime? Well, I think organized crime uh, or criminals do look at the security or architecture of every society before they act. When you go to the UK, I, 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 um, but okay. there, there's a a flying squad and other things on standby that respond effectively. Mm. It doesn't necessarily mean that when you don't see them carrying firearms, they are not uh, ready for anything. And in, if you go to US, the opposite, they are fully armed. Okay. But yet there are more cra there are more shootings in US than on the streets of London. So mm. let's review the particular situation of Ghana okay. and see whether we needed to arm. Maybe people even talked about arming uh, immigration officials and other things. Right. If we need to do so because uh, the the behaviour part the real pattern of the the petty crime or criminals in Ghana are changing let that be reviewed but it shouldn't be the case that just because of one issue that all of them should be armed because it comes with cost and other things I'm not saying a life is uh, more uh, uh, less than I mean mm. them but if the state believes that that is the way to go let, let, let's have it but it, it okay. goes beyond that sometimes you see them act as well mm. in a, a particular situation and when it result into an incident that mm. uh, hurts the public. That is mm. the police trying to respond with firearms. Okay. And unfortunately, uh, a passerby gets hurt. We are the same people that react in a particular way. So let's review it. And it sh shouldn't be a panic reaction. Okay. It should be done. Uh, Alex, they say if you want uh, flowers to grow, grow to grow too. And so the perception of the public that, look, when it's the term of the police, they were. And ye yesterday on a, on a social media platform, Somebody made that comment. Somebody went back to refer to Kweku Ninja in 1996 or so, that even though he was buried under, you know, cast concrete, he was still found. Are the public justified in this call, for example? Well, uh, thank you for the opportunity and uh, good morning to you and uh, all the viewers out there. Let me congratulate uh, Kwame for, you know, been re-elected right, right. By, by his party. He's working hard. Um, before I address the issue of the, the killing of the police officer and the subsequent arrest, let me react briefly on the free SHS free SHS issue SHS. and the fact that his constituency has a school uh, that uh, calling on the minister to government to take action. Good, good call. Oh, of course, I mean, but I think the the the, the procedure, I mean, uh, obviously, if you, the school is completed and you need it to start, uh, the minister is there. Sometimes you press the button at the right time. So should, should, he, should he be pressing buttons when I'm, I'm, you started a project, I, I am, you're done I with am, the project? I, thing is to commission I am, and to activate it. I am Must saying we that press I, a button? I am saying that if you want to engage the authorities mm. to begin something for you, you do it at the right time. I'm asking. It is not I'm, to say. I'm asking. Should we activate? Look, the system must work. When you build, you commission, 
you make it available for the students to assess education. Then we might, then we should. And you do. So, so it's been done. I've seen that be, over a year. That, that being the case, we should then be satisfied that all support systems are already in place. Okay. Because obviously, if everything is okay and ready to go, I don't think that government would want to delay. So perhaps his call requires some further inquiry into whether indeed everything is set for students to start using the school. What, what will make you think that everything is not set for a school? And I've seen it, it's painted. Uh, there's a teacher's bungalow on the side. I went there, I have videos to show you if you, if you, if well, you care. Well, I, I would doubt it because you doubt if that everything, I have videos? I've not said that. Okay. I would doubt that everything is set and that government is refusing. That one I would doubt. And I strongly disagree. Mm. If everything is ready, I'm sure government would quickly get you know, the student in the, into the school. After all, you need more schools. Mm. Okay? And you remember two weeks ago, we came here and uh, you know, on a program, there was this issue of uh, government abandoning the e-blocks. Mm. I personally followed up. Okay. I went to get fun, mm. met the administrator, and went to Napo. Okay. And he called the procurement director to his office. Because I wanted to know that okay. when we come to a big platform like this, mm -hmm. and it's like government has abandoned right. the e-blocks, mm -hmm. he said, no. Get Fund brought a list mm -hmm. that when they get certificate, maximum two months they pay. Okay. We should check it. And he brought this list. Mm -hmm. uh, the procurement director said, look, honorable, people have abandoned okay. the project. Some have taken mobilization, and they are not going to do the work. Some are on site. Government hasn't abrogated a single e block. But, but in this case, so, okay, the long and short is that so you, you don't, I, I don't believe want, that. Uh, it's not that I don't believe that. The facts, you, you know, that, the facts that, we, are that we could be ready. Government, of course, government the, is ready and there's not. The, the, okay. the, if the place is not ready, mm. it is not ready. I need, I need, I you, to make me, the, the, I need the, you to make me a quick promise so we can move to this one. Well, I, I, so, cannot, so, I cannot make no, a no, promise no, on behalf of I'm, government. I'm not saying, but I am saying. But you have I, not heard my. My request, but I know when you, oh, you have not heard my request. Very well, then let me allow I, I, you. I need to make a, a quick request of you and Very to, for well, you to make do. a promise that you will call the education minister and you will let him about what exists in that at that clue. And then the next time you are here, we'll ask you about it and you give us a response. Do you do you can, know something? Can we shake hands on that? I have been no, I, I would help so that other colleagues can follow this. You see, there's something about governance. You need to follow up, you need to lobby, you need to press the button. When I was in opposition, so press it for hold us. On, lobby hold for on, us. Hold on, hold on, hold on. For us. Hold on. When I was in opposition, I didn't say that I am in opposition. So government is not doing, and I'll just criticize. As the secretary, the number of times I visited his office, as Sherry IT, at the time government was sharing album motors, all right? I managed to press Sherry IT to the extent that a Futu was the first to get album motors for fishermen, mm. all right? So what, what yes. are you suggesting? So I am saying that in good faith, he should follow up. All right? I got an ambulance for the Winneba Municipal so, so, Hospital. So, so why, can't you, I, why can't you follow up? Time to why follow can't you follow up, up for oh, him? I can, I can Come help. on, I am coming from a your, as your good I friend. am following up on matters can, about a future. He's here. Right from here, he could go to, he can go to a I can, Ministry I can, of I Education. I can provide further okay, information. Okay, all right? hold on. So he, let's, he, let's, he has let's further information. We've digressed a bit. I'm interested in this one as well. I never said the minister deliberately decided not to open the school. As a matter of fact, I did say that I met the Deputy Minister of Education, our colleague, uh, uh, Honorable Chum, Dr. On, Aduchum. Uh, Aduchum, on several occasions. And I, in front of me, he did make calls to those who are supposed to activate uh, the school. Okay. It's, it's a brand new school. In fact, it's, it's the largest uh, uh, version, uh, 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 a largest version of the, of the, of the, of the, of the e-blocks uh, that we benefited. This is the, this is the situation. The project is largely complete. And in fact, the teachers and so other accommodations. Oh, no, it's, it's no, it's 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 largely, no, 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 what I saw, what I, no, 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 no. what I saw, because what I saw is a teacher's bungalow far down there and then the main school block. And then there's I, an I, entry and entrance I, I, on the other I, I side. I am an right? infrastructure mm -hmm. person. Let me explain this. Okay. When you say a project is substantially completed, what it means is that, for instance, you've asked somebody to build your house. The house is ready. You are living in a rented place. Okay. He's here to do the, the gardening. Okay. Would you say because the garden, garden is not ready, you will not move into your accommodation? I'm saying that the building is substantially completed. Okay. Government was aware of this more than a year ago. Okay. Why they are failing to take over and probably 
ask the, the contract. Uh, uh, maybe you have not pressed enough. That's what I think. No, is, no, no, no. You see, uh, have it, you it, it, it would be wrong for, 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 have for, you for him enough? to suggest have, that have I'm, say, I'm blaming my colleagues. Have you pressed Oh, yes, enough? oh, yes. And I'm saying that even at, uh, uh, last week, I'm the regional director. Everybody tells me, they showed me letters which they've written. Mm. The problem is that we have created something called Free SHS Secretariat, okay. different from Ghana Education Service. Mm which is supposed to be a political wing inside Ghana uh, Education Service mm. and Ministry of Education. So it appears there's, there's a, 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 a lack of synergy between who actually decides that this thing is done or not. You, for me, you know this for a fact or your Of course, of course. If you go to, if you go to a Water Regional uh, uh, Education Office, there's a, a free SHS secretariat, mm. sometimes even more resourced than the Ghana Education Service. And the question is, are the directors they're not capable of realizing that Adaklu uh, Community Senior High is substantially co completed? Let's put teachers, let's put uh, uh, heads. They did in the past. Mm. The head actually have to leave because for months that he was posted, there was no student. And I'm saying that we are at a position where at least send a hundred students or make it available to students from Adaklu community who are just living around so okay. that their parents don't your, have to pay appeal, money. Your appeal, is, so, your appeal is well Exactly. Okay. So uh, I dove my heart for my colleagues who are okay. the education minister. I'm just saying that what we have done so far hasn't yielded the result we all wanted. That is, the school activated mm -hmm. for the, the students to go to school in Adaklu. Okay. So, so this, is, this is an appeal. Uh, uh, John, an in other words. I brought it out simply uh, because John, John, I'm tired of John, the, the behind the scene. I've, I've got text messages John, John, that I cannot share because okay. it's, it's, it's privileged right, information. So in effect, yes. you commending government for... No, the, the minister. Oh, leave, leave, leave no, 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 let's, no, no, let's, no, let's, let's conclude on this properly. Okay. But, but you, you are not criticizing. You are not, you are not questioning government uh, intent. You are commending government, except that you want when, some when did, I when did I commend government? Oh, okay. so then what are you saying? Okay, I'm, I'm saying that they then, have failed to activate the school. Thank you that very is not much. commendation. Thank you very Let's talk about the police, uh, the two, two schools of thoughts. Where do you stand? Well, um, before I come into... No, no, let's, let's not No, no, no I want to conclude with respect. Okay. With respect, he, he did that intro. I think we have digressed. I agree. We have digressed I agree. Well he enough. brought. So, so let's make brought, progress. Brought, let's, let's make progress. Very well. I beg you. I, I would want to commend government for a successful third year implementation of the free SHS policy. And I would want to encourage all the actors mm. to cooperate with government. We're going to do placement. If the placement is done, Parents, guardians are supposed to cooperate. I pray that the system as it's being run now would run for the benefit of the students. Thank you very much. Of course, many were those who doubted, let's talk about who doubted the Please. successful let's, implementation let's of this talk policy. About the police. This is happening. Thank you. It's a key, Thank you it's a key social much. investment Lawyer in the future of this country. Okay, my governor, my governor is, agree. is down. Agree. Thank you. Agree. And let's, just as Kwame wants it for other people. I believe that if we all put in effort and support government in this direction, Ghana will be a better place for all tomorrow. Now let's come to the police. You see, we are concerned when it comes to security. Criminal activities all over the place. People are talking about um, the need for police mm. visibility. Okay. Now if we, the same citizens, mm. end up butchering the police, then what kind of citizens are we? Of course, I agree with people who sometimes express that view that, ah, when it's about the police, they are swift. Mm. But if it's an ordinary citizen, it's a legitimate concern. You cited this uh, police officer who was shot or killed at Ablekuma exactly. many, years ago, many years ago and how the police managed to get to the bottom of it. So I think it's for the police to review its uh, operational uh, directives and what systems they have in place. Sure. The other issue that Kwame raised regarding um, arming, arming them. Is it right to arm them? I think that the police officer must be armed at all times. It's not out of place. A police officer must be armed at all times, whether it's a CID, whether MTTD, whatever, striking force, whichever unit a police officer finds himself, I think that a police officer at least mm. must, must, must have an arm. Is it your view that successive governments have you know, spoken about this and implemented it in the best of, of today. Of, of well, the I have been a member of the Defense and Interior Committee of Parliament, and I know the level of investment made, you know, in that for the police, the military, fire mm. service, but we have competing uh, uh, demands. Mm. It can never be enough, but 
so far, I'm sure that this, the support given to the police. Recently, we saw their vehicles, mm. you know, being given out pickups. They were being given logistics and all that. But it will never be enough. Police stations are being built. Individuals are supporting. Mm. So it's an everyday thing. It can never be enough. Is the security, but, is security a priority area for us? It and should I'm, be. And, I, and I'm asking, it, it is. Be. It should be. I'm asking it, this it should question be, because and I think it is. Of, of what, for example, the UN ratio says one policeman to 500 people. What we have is one to about 800 and in excess of So that. we have to recruit more. So we have to recruit more. Very well. And even the recruitment processes must be looked at. If you look, if you look at the strand of the conversation, it doesn't give the public that kind of assurance. This is somebody who spoke to me yesterday. These are the concerns that the public has. Legitimate. Last year, I'm aware, as a member of the Defense and Interior Committee, that during the recruitment process, mm. some miscrowns found their way in there. People were not Ghanaians mm. and all that. And upon further checks, uh, it came to the attention of the police mm. hierarchy. So they called it off, unfortunately. Mm. And they started the whole process again. all over again to ensure that they scrutinize those who get into the police service. You recall, some few years ago, we also had cause to question police officers who were engaged in crime mm. and ask the police to also scrutinize okay. the, those who get into uh, their fraternity. Mm. So I'm sure uh, last year the delay in the recruitment was as a result of some of these things. Mm. But no doubt, we need more police officers. Mm. We need to invest more. Okay. We need to train more. And I think that today, Ghana, we have highly educated police force. I mean, the last time a corporal had a master's, he came to me and he said, oh, no, I have a, an MBA. Mm. I mean, in the past, we were not getting that. I remember when we were at UCC, they would come and encourage us that, look, when we finish school, we should, you know, join the police and all that. 2001, 2002. They were all over, encouraging you, you could have been a superintendent. You didn't join. I guess so. <laughs> but I wanted, to, I wanted to be a lawyer. Okay. So, all right. And uh, be, in the, be in politics <laughs> and do my private Thank practice. You. Thank you very much. Uh, well, we're, we're going to take some comments. Uh, we have a live studio audience here at the Gold Coast Pub, uh, right behind the Accra Tourist Information Center. You're watching us live on TV3. This is a brand new edition, and so you can't miss it. Your thoughts and comments are always welcome. Uh, Bella is standing by. We'll cross over to her uh, shortly and then get that. But I'm looking on the front page of the Daily Graphic. It's talking about the uh, passage of the public officer's conduct bill. Shraj is adding government to do that. Uh, in the West, it started in 2006, and then by 2015, the bill was taken to Parliament, but we don't have it. Kwame, quickly, uh, this is supposed to cure uh, the mischief of conflict of interest that we've found uh, in, in the situation for most public officers. Will this, like many other laws, be effective, or will it be just another law that will come and go? Well, w whenever I see a situation which, is, which ought not to be, Okay. And our first reaction is, let's go and make a new law. I ask whether we're being realistic. Is it the case that we don't have enough laws in this country mm -hmm. to guide how public services and goods and works are procured? No, we do. The Public Procurement Act is quite a significant law that, if well followed, could address this, uh, this issue. Is it the case that a public official is not aware that if, you, if you're going to do uh, open a tender for services, mm. we shouldn't see your wife or your, your son mm. as somebody who, 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 who wins all the contracts? I'm not saying your wife and your son couldn't legitimately bid for works under, under your, mm. uh, your, your purview. But the, the issue is the people. I say okay. that you can make the best laws in this country. Mm -hmm. If the policeman is to be, be, uh, to be corrupt, he can, he can investigate the case. Is it a and question of enforcement, lack of enforcement, I, or the law being ineffective? What is it? I, I sincerely believe we have enough laws to deal with certain levels of, uh, of uh, misbehavior in this country. And mm. when it comes to procurement particularly, I see no reason why we should be bothered. I think we should just rather find a way of okay. ensuring that the laws as it exists are, 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 are enforced, and then we can, we, can, we can go on. Okay, so we're out in the open. Uh, the weather is uh, joining us here. You can see the, the rain is coming up, and we're enjoying it. The, the breeze is so sweet, and we're enjoying it. And guess what? The farmers love it. The so farmers love it. So why, why, why are we And we love it as 